Once Jesus Christ goes to house of somebody and Jesus himself says that salvation has come to this house. And where we can understand that when Jesus as the son of man goes somewhere, he's not just a person or a human being but embodiment of divine grace and fulfillment in itself. Jesus is praying to God the Father and in his own words and eternal life means knowing you the only true God and knowing Jesus Christ whom you sent. So here we can understand that to know Jesus Christ is to know the eternal life, to know the God, because God can be worshipped by the Spirit of God only, and Jesus himself is the Spirit. And so how can we understand or relate or make the picture of Jesus Christ with how he really looked like? Because we use our intellect to to graph Jesus Christ as a person from some nationality. But in the life of Jesus Christ, we find a great contrast among the people who judge Jesus Christ according to his nationality. They say that a, a very good disciple of Jesus Christ, about whom Jesus says that there is nothing fault in him, there is nothing wrong in him, he is a true or real Israelite, even that person named Nathaniel. When get to know about Jesus Christ, at first he says, can anything good come from Nazareth? Here we find that a person who is so perfect, even that person judges Jesus Christ by nationality. And there are people who address to Jesus Christ that your mother and your brother has come. And there too Jesus correct them that my mother and my brother are those people who worship God. And on other occasions also people who wanted to crucify Jesus Christ, they also wanted to claim Galilee and other words using Jesus Christ to, to escape Jesus Christ. So what Jesus really looked like? A person who wants to see Jesus Christ as Jesus really is because in the scripture it says God so loved the world that Jesus comes to us. So love. When we see with love we see things differently like my child if I have a child and when I love my child and I'm a mom of the child then the child doesn't look like just a child to me. It looks like something else. When I'm a man, I love a girl. Then th the same girl doesn't look like just a girl. She looks like love. When I'm a girl and love a man, again, we have a different reason. We have different eye to see in the scripture, in the life of the great people. We find they say, those who have eye to see can see it. So we don't know how to to make Jesus Christ in the gospel or the scripture that writes about Jesus Christ when they are ending this scripture they say they say Jesus did many great things as well if every one of them were written down then i suppose that even the whole world wouldn't be room wouldn't have enough room something like that was written for the books that would be written for Jesus Christ. Miss Jesus Christ is so vast. We cannot comprehend with him just picture or just book because when that guy about whom I mentioned Nathaniel when comes to Jesus Christ and gains faith in Jesus Christ and feels love for him and devotion for him and calls him son of God even to him Jesus Christ says that that if he is just believing because Jesus said about his life or he is going to see something even greater like the heaven will open and angels of God will ascend and descend on the Son of Man and Jesus is again showing that our way of seeing the truth is very limited so Jesus is much more than what we can see what we can paint or what we can use our intellect or going to the nationality or the places or the time to relate the Jesus Christ because Jesus is love of God and love has its own image that cannot be painted that cannot be comprehended and Jesus is the life of God so how can we express the radiance of him who is the light of the world in words or even in picture as if all the rays of the Sun and moon assume a form of a human being and we combine all of them into when human, when he is, then probably we can get the glimpse of Jesus that how he would look like, on whose face there is pleasing concern for everybody because we have seen that a woman at well 
who had tough life in her, whose relationship has always suffered. There is some thirst of love in her life always, but she finds peace, she finds joy and expresses it to everybody and she praises Jesus Christ. Such person like eternal spring she finds near Jesus Christ. The eyes of Jesus Christ is like the joy of a spring as if Eden Garden and beauty of entire nature is there in his eyes because I feel and you will also feel when you see Jesus with the love that he gives peace. And Jesus says that he doesn't give peace like the world does, like reading from somewhere or some kind of Jesus. The peace that Jesus gives is his own earning. In his own word, he says that the peace that he gives to people who come to him is his own peace that he has earned. Although all the peace is his, everything belongs to him. But still, we find that Jesus Christ all night goes and prays somewhere and come back to meet disciple. When the storm comes, Jesus appears walking on the water. So here we can see that Jesus is doing his own work always. And one occasion Jesus says the Father is always working so the Son will also work. So he's working even if everything is already his. So, so Jesus' eyes is full of peace. And we can see the image of Jesus' head that he's wearing a thorn, a crown of thorn that represents his suffering and he is a king. He can have the crown of all kind of jewel, all kind of gold or diamond or such precious jewel that we have not seen on this earth. But he is wearing the crown of thorn as if he is taking away the pain of everybody, every being, not just human, but even animals or even invisible beings that we are unable to see into his head, that he cares for you. Whenever I see the thorn, 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 uh, thorn, yes, the crown of thorn on the head of Jesus Christ, I feel that he is so concerned about our suffering. No matter what we are feeling, he is, he is aware of it being the king but look at the beauty of this king of kings that even if he is wearing the crown of thorn on his head his neck is like the rose because when we see him on the cross thorn he has kept for himself but the neck are uh, the way he he bows down to people and uh, on the uh, he is on the cross and he's praying for forgiveness for those people who are, who are, who are there to crucify him. This shows that he keeps the thorn for himself but roses for others. That from his mouth comes the fragrance of grace every time. And on, even on the cross we see there is one, on, one thief on the uh, other side of Jesus Christ. And to him Jesus is giving the grace like the fragrance of grace is coming from his mouth and Jesus is saying you will be in paradise with me when he walks Jesus Christ with long hair spreading in the wind this illuminates the heart of the darkness in the presence of Holy Spirit awakening because Jesus says that Holy Spirit is like the wind and whenever I want to contemplate on Holy Spirit and Jesus said that Holy Spirit comes like like the wind, like the wind, from wherever wind comes and where it goes, no one knows. So I see the image of Jesus Christ walking and his hair is flowing. Then it, it gives the image, it's, in itself is meditation of the Holy Spirit. And when Jesus walks on the ground, then even if the sky or the heaven would come to bow down to his head, they will never go up again but remain here like we see the Mary Magdalene kneeling on the feet of Jesus Christ and oiling it and wiping it with her tears. We see that she has transformed into heaven and she attained a true real life. So Jesus comes here and he brings the heaven down for all of us. And uh, what to say about his the clothes that he wear, even the hem of his garment is enough to bring the lamp in the soul or all kind of power because we know that there is a girl who had issue of blood 
for 12 years and when she touches Jesus Christ hem of his garment even without Jesus knowing that she has done it and Jesus feels as if a power releases from Jesus Christ and goes to her so such is the power even in the touch of the hem of his garment the ease of his garment and one glimpse of Jesus is is the image or the manifestation or reality of the kingdom of heaven in the person so how can we compare Jesus with anything so if somebody asks how Jesus looks like the answer can only be that Jesus looks like Jesus there is nothing and nobody that can we compare with Jesus Christ we cannot compare Jesus with some kind of race some kind of nationality some kind of time or situation culture he is beyond all or he is everything like everything is made in his image and he is a beauty of love in itself being near him we attain the peace being near him we attain the fulfillment being near him we attain the grace so jesus is a embodiment of love jesus is embodiment of light jesus is embodiment of fulfillment of everything he is alpha and omega even before abraham we have heard him saying i am so he is beyond the word but look at his compassion look at his love that we can see him i i read somebody saying that god is in uh, is is unmanifest is beyond our range but we can hug jesus so this shows a beauty of jesus christ love so with prayer in the name of jesus christ i thank you for listening these words with so much of love and i pray that may you attain the eternal life may you attain the fulfillment of life may you attain the success joy and grace in the name of jesus thank you so much for listening these words with so much of love my prayers for you thank you